Hey, 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 not in your house is being so. <laughs> wow, not in my house. Listen, we're going to talk about why Kyrie Irving can't play because he's not vaccinated, but he could sit in stands. The fans could come to the game that are not vaccinated. Something got to change. I understand why Kevin Durant is asking Eric Adams, like, what you going to do? I'll be right back. Good evening, good evening, everybody. It's your brother, Van Silk. Not in my house. Jackie Robinson, the man who broke the barrier of baseball. But check this out. I used to live in New York City, born and raised in the Bronx, the old Lincoln Hospital on Brooklyn Boulevard. My parents took me to Patterson Projects, 281 East 143rd Street until we eventually moved to John Adams Projects over there on Jackson Avenue. So I'm a native New Yorker. But let me, let me say this. It was since COVID-19 affected us almost three years ago. And uh, mandates and wear masks, you know, like we all had to be subjected to wearing a mask. Understandable. You know, some states Relax the rules and Florida governor did this and that. Now we come to New York City with uh, former Mayor de Blasio who put in his mandate and came to the NBA. Players had to be vaccinated. That which brings me to New, New Jersey Nets player Kyrie Irving who is not vaccinated, who's actually sat out the majority of the season, or damn near all the season, because he couldn't play in New York because he's not vaccinated. But what I don't understand is players from other cities or other states coming to play in the Barclays Center that are not vaccinated. Why is that? Are all the fans vaccinated? Mask, wearing masks. I mean, like, ever since Eric Adams became mayor of New York City, it's like he could have revert a lot of the stuff the Blasio had because it seemed like it's mumbo jumbo. Seriously, mask, no mask. Vaccinated, unvaccinated. Okay, this brings the other night that everybody's complaining, Kyrie Irving sitting in the stands and not playing. He could sit in the stand or sit, and he's not vaccinated. But he can't play. Can't play in Toronto. Can't play at the guard. So the question I ask is, why is this mumbo jumbo of COVID-19 mandate is wrong? It's definitely wrong. Can't force nobody to get vaccinated, especially if you've got the doors open to the arenas and the people are not vaccinated. You don't, See, it was like you get vaccinated or you can't get in. Now you don't have to have a vaccination, then why can't Kyrie Irving play? Now, I understand Kevin Durant rant right now, which he could have picked up the phone at any given moment and called the mayor. Yes, you can, Kevin. You the man. You can call the mayor. And LeBron James is sticking his nose in the situation. You need to worry about what you're going to do, brother. About you shutting your seats in there, homie. Seriously. <laughs> My point is, Mayor Eric Adams need to make a decision. If Kyrie Irving can't play because he's not vaccinated, then all the fans that come to the Barclays Center need to be vaccinated. Players that don't live in this state that are not vaccinated should not be able to play in New York City. That needs to be the rules. I'm with Kevin Durant on this one. I don't want Kevin Durant ain't got to go at his teammate because you know why? They didn't make the rules. 
And if his teammate stands on something of, this is what I believe in, you can't force nobody. Like, you can't force Jehovah's Witnesses to take blood. Religious reasons. If they don't want blood, you can't force them to take blood. You can't make a Muslim eat pork. So if a person want to get vaccinated because he felt that he needed need, need to know more about what's about it, then he respectfully is owed that respect. It ain't about the money. Oh, he's turned down. He's losing $18, 20000000 million this season because he ain't played a home game. Listen, everything ain't always about the money. So I respect Kevin Durant coming out and want to know what's the difference. The fans can come in and sit in the arena. Kyrie Irving can sit, but he can't play. Because he's not vaccinated. Tell me what's wrong with that picture. This is your brother Van Silk, not in my house. Listen, we got a lot of work to do, people, in this country because everybody's mumbo. I call it mumbo jumbo. Vaccinated or not vaccinated doesn't make sense right now. Figure it out. Hey y'all, it's your girl Claudia Jordan here. I am the uh, writer and producer of the stage play White Lies. Now, I'm fascinated with the psychology behind lies, so I want to have a contest. The person who tells me the best white lie they've ever told, and if you're in the building at the play, you buy your ticket, you're gonna tell the biggest tell me the biggest white lie you've ever told. The person with the best story, we're gonna give you two hundred dollars. Okay? $200 goes to the person that tells us the best white lie, but you got to be in the building. So that means you got to buy a ticket. Now we got tickets for 35 on the low, low, 56 for the medium, 78 on the high end, the 56 and the uh, 78, you get the free meet and greet included meet the cast. All right. So this is a contest going on for the people that attend the play white lies. Go to the strand theater.com, get your tickets. And I want you to submit your video to me and we will pick the person with the biggest white lie. See you then.